So what you got today? Well, uh, I've been all level with you. I've been drinking a little bit. I've been <laughs> having a... You're on vacation, though. A lot of butt heavies. I know free ads, but I am having a problem with them. <laughs> You're actually wearing a butt heavy shirt right now. Really? I... T- it just this island means a lot to me. You know, it's a good thing you're out for a while. <laughs> Where are you? Sea Isle City, New Jersey. Isn't that, Kate, isn't that where you met your ex? <laughs> it so, is, but it doesn't, it doesn't even register. It doesn't even, what, who? You know, the, <laughs> the husband that you had before you got divorced? <laughs> who, what? <laughs> Because uh, <laughs> you, you had a big wedding because all your family was there and it was expensive and your dad right, had to exactly. buy a lot of... Uh, they're all here, except for him. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is morning sunshine. My name is Brandon Walker, and I can see her bopping around on that beach right now. Look at her. Hey, Kate. Hey, how's it going, Brandon? You got your vacation vibes going on. I can see it. I lost my blazer. I, I got so <laughs> fucked up. I lost it. <laughs> All you got left is that is that cheap little Budweiser shirt and your bra strap poking out. Threw it in the bay. I said, <laughs> I quit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But I'm here because I need health insurance uh, desperately. So, I'm hey. Sure some, some guys on shore leave that took you out to the bay and y'all had a good time. Well, penicillin goofing. <laughs> <laughs> good times. Congratulations. Oh. Nobody deserves a, a well-earned break more than you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I was just kidding. You don't really do shit. I'm Hi. This is Morning Sunshine, and we're going to get right to the news. And I can tell, I, when Kate has that gleam in her eye and she's bopping along, I know she's got a sack full of news. It's going to be great. I'll get to her in just a second. Okay, Kate, just relax. You don't have to mime everything I do. Looking over the wall at you. Wonder why you're so grumpy today. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? When I like to get ungrumpy, I go to get me some belly full of meat. Some breakfast meats right up in here, right mm-hmm. up in this area, mm-hmm. right up in here, right up in there is where I like to get a belly full of meat. Hmm. That was oh, a, yeah. That yep. was a area, wasn't it? It was where, where you do that at, I like, friend. I like to go to the eating table near Bug Tussle, Kentucky. The eating table near Bug Tussle. If the uh, bug tussle's got a table, we're eating at it. <laughs> yeah, you're damn right we are. It's time Fair in thing. Hopkinsville or Tompkinsville or one of those Kentucky Vills, but bug tussle's nearby, so why can't we say that? Mm-mm. Rustle up some grub at the tussle bug. Bug tussle, that's also what your waxer has to do every now and then. Anyway, you got more news? I do. And this one's, uh, this time is personal. Oh, okay? personal news. <laughs> and this time is personal. <laughs> so now you're going to. You're finally going to make that announcement. This time it's personal. <laughs> hair dust. Uh, but anyways, yes, Sea Isle City, where I am at this week. Have I mentioned that yet? I'm at the beach. I'm at Sea Isle. I'm hanging out. They were so excited to have a celebrity on the island wow. that they asked me to do their tourism video this year. With coronavirus and everything going on. They were like, Kate, you're familiar. You've been coming here since you were a little kid. We want you to do our tourism video. Did they say the word celebrity out loud? So they didn't necessarily say celebrity and they didn't necessarily ask me to do the video, but it's the implication that they, uh-huh. I know they know I'm here probably Yeah, doing them a solid. It's a chance pro bono. It's a tourism video. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're going to want to come here after you see it. I can't wait to find out about sea isle city. Let's go. Smile, you're in Sea Isle City, the most glamorous vacation destination in South Jersey if you exclude Avalon, Cape May, Ocean City, and Brigantine. With endless miles of majestic coastline and rare activities for the young, rich, and famous, there's never a dull moment. Like to golf? Sea Isle boasts some of the hottest courses in the nation like Pirate Cove. That's the spot you and your ex shared that magical first kiss. Hungry? We've got top-tier dining on Fish Alley, where you can enjoy chicken fingers, mozzarella sticks, and arguing with your then-husband because you refused to dry the Old Bay crab balls. And watch out, Maine! 
We've got some record-breaking lobsters over here. <laughs> and boy, could our ex-husbands crack claws and hearts. <laughs> Heck, Sea Isle's so cool it's got its own ice. And you can buy it right outside La Costa, the bar we all used to have so much fun at before the divorce broke us. And when you're done goofing, chill out at one of our many ice cream spots. I like to go in the mornings when there's time to sit alone and think about my divorce. Once your family kicks you out of the small rental house for sitting alone on the patio every day, going over all the things you'd say if you ran into them again, head over to the Duval Inn for a drink or ten. Once the hangover sets in, you can always sit alone in your car by one of our beautiful parks, eating a hoagie while watching young kids play, and wondering if they'll ever break in a horrific divorce like yours. <laughs> and wow, is that a turtle? Sea Isle's famous for its nature too. Maybe you couldn't save your marriage, but you can sure save a turtle. Sea Isle, what in the shell are you waiting for? I don't know why I'm so creeped out. Oh boy. It's probably called Chaps. It was a treat to make for a place that means a lot to me in my life. Maybe we could transition away from this video as fast as humanly possible. A lot of good memories there. Not a single bad one, I'll tell you that thing. much. Let's get to the next thing. And the important thing is to not dwell on it. But I'll say this. If he had just stayed away from her, okay. if she hadn't have been walking around like a Miss Fussy Britches, okay. if she hadn't have been wearing those... A little bit of news, our boy Clem. Large came over to his house, helped him out. He went and got neutered. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. He's got the big purple cone and everything. So check this out. It's a sad look. How'd it go, boys? I, I gotta be honest. I don't throw around the word hero. You know me. This guy's a testicular hero. Warrior. Full week, right? A full week. I can't do anything. I think it's a, she said a full week to 10 days. It's up to you. I mean, however you feel. This is one at a time. Because you're going to be tender. Yeah, a week, 10 days, something like that. So I would say maybe a nine, right? Yeah. Brush this nice and easy. What is that? The thing keep him from licking his own? Licking his own balls. Yeah. Yep, licking his own um, balls. Like you a, wear that sometimes. You haven't been neutered. Yeah, they call him Clem the cat because he, he just likes to lick that old ball sack all the time. And, you know, who can blame him? Nothing but in your ball sack. This is going to keep him from having kids, right? Yeah, this is it. No more kids. He is cut off. The well is dry. No more of his genes of, like, him being passed on into, into the world, right? That's how it works. They, they, they snip you, and, and now you can no longer impregnate a woman. So there, there can't be any more Clems walking around. Did, have you? Have you? You do it yet? You do it yet? No, I, I've seen the video of Clem, yeah. I've watched it, yeah. No, no, have you? Uh... Oh, <laughs> Kate. Maybe. I've got four beautiful children, and the well is still a-pumping. It's still a going. I can spray walkers from here to the coast. You thought maybe you could just uh Nope. You could help the country these, out and not do that. There was a big fight this weekend, right, Kate? Boy, oh boy, there sure was. <laughs> Overall Mississippi posted a video at a bar down there, and my goodness. Well, now wait. It wasn't in Mississippi. It was in Oxford, Mississippi, which is a fucking shithole full of douchebags. So Go. you're you're not from there. No, I'm from a different shithole. Less douchebags. All right. Well, check this out. We be friends. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? I've seen you around for a long time. Wow. Mm -hmm. That, there must have been a sale at J. Crew or something. Those frat boys were, were well, they weren't hitting each other very hard, but they were trying to. I don't think there was a single actual contact among them, to be honest. There was a lot of... But I, was like, I was like 10 guys. I, okay, how 10 many, college boys. Yeah. How many college guys do you think you could handle at one time? Jeez. I got two hands. Then maybe if I use my feet, I could, you know, I could get another one. A fight, a fight, a, a fight, a oh fight. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, fisticuffs. Whoa, <laughs> oil. <laughs> Probably about uh, 15, 16. Well, it's Ole Miss guy, so it's not real dudes. You know what I do? Can I show you what I do? What are you doing? Windmill. Hard to you believe. Know? Hard to believe that X of yours 
found his way somewhere else. You're telling me. And like I was saying, if he hadn't been looking around that night, and yeah, there was a mechanical bull, and yeah, she was on it 15 times because she wanted everybody to notice. Ladies and gentlemen, that's morning. Did she Sunday. notice this? Did she notice the ring I used to have on my finger? Did Thank she you notice for this? She sure goddamn didn't. No, no, no. She had to go over to the end. That's morning time. sunshine. How was your trip back from Almighty Mississippi? Oh, it was good, Kate. Thanks for asking. We left at noon. Uh, I stopped and I bought eight Chick-fil-A sandwiches and I had one every other hour. And then we stopped at Sonic in, in Virginia. And then once we, before we left to Tennessee, we, we stopped at the Wendy's and there was the McDonald's in Knoxville. Uh, after we got into Virginia, there was a Waffle House. and Actually, there were a couple of Waffle Houses. Uh, once in Maryland, we didn't stop because, you know, Maryland's just, this, oh yeah, we did stop. We stopped at the Sheets and I bought some pork rinds and some uh, beef jerky. And then uh, Pennsylvania, it was late. The kids were asleep. So I just stopped for a couple of hours and, and went into uh, to a diner there. And eventually we made it home about uh, two and a half days after we left. Did you finally let the kids eat? No. 